Damian Priest versus Dexter Loomis, which sounds positively awful. <laughs> as it turns out, as it turns out, <laughs> better than I expected. Well, if you have very low expectations. At least Loomis sold some this week. Well, I like Damian Priest. I think he's great. I mean this with all due respect, okay? There's no way for this to come out nice, so I just want to say with all due respect, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I hate Dexter Loomis matches. Oh, yeah. They're just... He... First off... Uh, shoot, I don't even know where to start. The gimmick is just death. Mm -hmm. And then, again, he's like a fucking gymnast or something. He'll be selling, and then all of a sudden, he'll do a kip up into a jumping leg drop. I'm like, what? None of this makes any sense for the character that the guy's trying to play. Yeah. It's like if Nails all of a sudden in the middle of his match started doing fucking cartwheels. Like, why? Yeah, I get it. You can do a kip up. I get it. You're, you're agile. I get it. But your character should not be any of these things. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And I watch it, and he's selling his leg, and then all of a sudden, first he can't walk, and then he's doing kip ups. I'm like, fuck, I just can't get into this. I agree with all of that. I can't argue any of it, but I will say at least this time, well, he's, the story is he had a bad ankle, which he sold off and on, but near the end, when Priest goes through the ankle lock, like, target that ankle, and Grimes is actually, like, his face is contorted, he's screaming in pain. For the first time in his entire run in NXT, he's registering pain as a pro wrestler. That made it better than every other Dexter Loomis match I've seen. Was it any good? Probably not. But it was the least shitty one. You know the other thing about Dexter Loomis? It just drives me fucking crazy. So, the guy is big. And he's got a very good physique. Mm -hmm. And if you get rid of his porn stash, I mean, he's a good-looking guy. And he's obviously very agile. He can do all of these cool spots. So what the fuck is he a fucking nails... Four. Because they needed <laughs> Why? They needed a creep from the creep farm. No. He did the same fucking thing in Impact. Well, that's true. Can someone get through to this guy? Like, he has a lot, a lot, a lot of potential. And this gimmick is death. That's the problem. It's not the guy. It's the gimmick. It's a death gimmick. And it doesn't work with everything that he's capable of doing. I don't know. Why am I even ranting? Well, it's the Brian Avini show. It's a rant. It's cathartic for us, and people seem to enjoy it. So I should also add, before the before the, the main part of the match, the early portion of this match is all Damian Priest working Dexter Loomis over with arm drags, which is funny because he's the biggest guy on the show. Now, he can deliver good arm drags, and Dexter Loomis can take good arm drags, so there's nothing wrong with this. But we're like, big show running wild with arm drags. It's just ridiculous. Then he takes over, he, for five minutes, this match is all Damian Priest. They go to commercial, and we come back, Loomis is beating him up. What happened? What happened? And then they did another, like, five or ten minutes, whatever it was, and, and it, it turned out to be, by Dexter Loomis standards, pretty good. You know, I had, a, I had a decent physique, Vinny. I was a gymnast. Like, this would be as if I decided, you know what? You know what I want to be in wrestling? I want to be a fucking turtle. <laughs> like, I'm going to get a fucking turtle costume. I'm going to cover my whole body in this turtle costume. And my gimmick is I'm going to be, I'm going to crawl around the ring on all fours really slowly. And I'm going to come up with some fucking spots, okay? But, like, every now and then, I'm going to fucking do a flip in my turtle costume. You lost your damn mind. No, but do you understand how fucking ridiculous this is? This is Dexter <laughs> Loomis' whole gimmick. He's a turtle? <laughs> Basically... I mean, the fucking Dexter Loomis gimmick, you may as well be a fucking turtle. Because you know it brings nothing to the table. I mean, Johnny Gargano, he explained the whole gimmick. Oh, he, he's, he stares at things, and he never talks, and he kidnapped a guy. That is the whole gimmick. Wow. Like, what the fuck can I do with that as a promoter? Well, what they're trying to do is make him a main eventer, but like, it, as clearly, a good guy. it clearly is not working. Yeah, as a good guy. How the fuck do you get sympathy on this guy? He's a fucking, his gimmick is he's a fucking weirdo, a creep. And we're supposed to have sympathy for this giant fight. And he's a giant, by the way. It's not even like he's, he's the size of Drake Maverick. He's a giant, jacked up creep. We're supposed to feel sympathy for him. 
Oh no, he's selling right now. Oh dear God. I hope he can come back. That's what I'm supposed to be thinking as a fan? I want to see him stare at people more. I hope he gets out of this jam. You know the funniest thing is all this is a completely at random Dude. across my timeline today <laughs> came. Fucking. Do you remember 15 or 20 years ago when there was like four dozen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle wrestlers in Lucha Libre? Yeah. Some of them flew, came across my timeline today. Those turtles were badass. Wow, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think my whole point in all of this is, like, I know if, if, if Dexter Loomis ever hears this, oh, I hate these fucking guys. Oh, why did anyone... Listen. If I thought you totally sucked, I wouldn't even waste my breath every week. My whole point is, there's clearly something there. There's a lot there. But this gimmick handicaps all of it. It's handcuffs on every single aspect of, of, of the potential of this fucking guy here, whatever his name is, Sam Shaw. That's my whole point. I would love Sam Shaw to succeed. I think that there's a lot of cool things he can do, but he can't do any of them. That's fucking Dexter Loomis. I'm done. Well, before we move on, we should mention Dexter Loomis lost when Cameron Grimes hit him with a cave-in on the apron and Priest said he's south of heaven in the ring. So there you go. That was NXT. Think about that fucking feud, Vinny. Dexter Loomis against Cameron Grimes. I, I, I went over this in detail last week. It's There's... inconceivable. There is not a cell in my body that will be cheering for Dexter Loomis in that feud. It's, there's nothing. No, no, nothing. There's nothing that makes you want to cheer for Dexter Loomis over Cameron Grimes. It can't be done. 